what that one's for. I just know the name of the Ironheart Chimera, Sage of the Ivor Tower. Pioneer, the Wyvern Commander, Beast Rider, the Rune Armored Druid, the Hero of the Battlefield Battle Angel, Steel Monarch, Dragon Knight, uh, the Star Star Knight, Weapon Master. Um. Number 10, Lord of Beast Dragon Knight. It's the same Dragon Knight you love, but just hotter. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at those abs. This skin nails the impact that these skills should have. It also lets the Dragon Knight have a little dragon buddy, and I think that more skins should just have buddies. Which is the perfect segue into number nine, which is the Skin Diver Mermaid. I don't think that this skin gets quite enough attention. It is a great beach skin interpretation for the mermaids, and it also comes with a buddy. Stellar animations, stellar design, deserves number nine. Number eight is so good and it inspired conversations about new design space for transmog. I actually wish that we'd seen more things come from this one. It's the Baby Bear War Bear. If anything, this skin should be closer to number one, but I think this is generally speaking going to be an appropriate place for the skin. The main thing that holds it back is probably the time at which it was released because at the time of recording, it is now a bit of an older skin. So that means it's lacking the complexity that skins of the modern day would normally see. But still, even like this, it's number eight on the list. Number seven is the Retro Game Boy Robo. This is just like the next logical step for the monster. Honestly, I think the Robos are made better with this skin. I, and you'll probably find that with a lot of the skins on this list. But what I mean to say is it just seems like a more complete thought out version of what these Robos are. Love the way they manifest their attacks. I think we can all agree that Dark Robo has a really cool skill three animation. And I love that they now have a face that can kind of emote on the screen. Like, surprisingly dope skin. Number six is Legend of the Ocean Sea Emperor. This is a very recent release, and I think that there's a list of monster skins out there that are probably just labeled as the most improved category. This would be for stuff like the Jokers, the Vampires, the Succubi, the Magic Knights, the Horuses. I could go on and on and on, but they essentially just update the monster's aesthetics for the modern age. And I think that the Legend of the Ocean Sea Emperor is probably the epitome of that category. To me, this is just what the Sea Emperors would look like if they were made in modern day Summoner's War. The Water Dragon adds such a nice flair to all the skills. It's almost like they come with this super unique aura too. And hey, it's a buddy. There should be a whole category for buddies. Before I reveal what number five is, number five is actually proof that this list is not as biased as it might seem. Because if I was the one that wanted these, if I was placing these, this would be number one. It's the business casual Ifrit. I think this is so awesome. <laughs> I love Veramos going out, going out at night, going out for a little casual dinner with his coworkers. Like that's what this skin is to me. This is what this is like the oh I have a dinner reservation for six thirty Ifrit skin. That's what this is. Dude is employed. Dude has values. Dude makes a salary. But hey, I'm frankly just a sucker for like any of the Ifrit skins. Like I think all of them should be on this list, especially the Halloween one. Unfortunately, I don't think people like the Halloween one as much as I do. Uh, so it's not getting on the list. If you want to see more of what we could have had in terms of Ifrit skins, you should check out the concept art video on the channel of all the Ifrit skins that we never got. I had so much fun making that video and boy do I wish that we got some of those. But at least we got business casual. I forget what number we're on, but the next one is the uh, Magic Hunter Ninja. Yeah, this one's just really cool. This one I actually don't count amongst the most improved category because I think it far exceeds what the regular ninjas are. This skin perfectly blends. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Summoner's War. My name is Come to Us Evan, and joining me today it's Alan S W. Though we can't see Alan. What's up, Alan? How are you, dude? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here today. We're doing the Discord Conqueror Tournament. This is the sequel to, from the people who brought you the Discord Fighter Tournament, it is the Discord Conk Tournament today. We got 32 people in a bracket right now. Let me show you what we're working with today before we start spectating somebody. Um, this is how many people are here now. It's gonna be a lot fewer by the end. And they're of course playing for some pretty cool prizes as well. First place is gonna get a 10th anniversary trophy and 500 crystals. Second place is getting an SD figurine. Third and fourth, 300 crystals. And all participants get 200 just for hanging out and playing some good RTA games today. I, I'm pretty stoked. Alan, do you want to tell me who we should start spectating? Maybe you call it uh, out for me? Maybe Tofu. Tofu? Is it, uh, is, yeah. 
Let me Is see there a person named Tofu? I'm gonna dig dig deep for this. They are already they are already going. So oh man, why do I? I'll maybe try S Fox. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw S Fox. Yeah, there. S Fox. Where's S Fox? Stand by, stand by. Found. Let's go. I had to dig in. I had to dig deep for that one right now. What's going on, chat? Tide full C pasta Conaghy. I saw Conaghy said ah 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 earlier. We're gonna get lots of those today. Oh my God, this draft is stacked, Alan. Yeah. I'm yeah. scared you're gonna get Cleep here. I think that that might happen. Honestly, so the Conk tournament is gonna bring out a lot more, you know, solid drafts. You know, we kind of talk about like fighter being the wild west of rta mm -hmm. and i think that's very much the truth in the conquer tournaments apparently we're getting something like this all oh, the one the one unit you don't want to stun he's gonna have to keep that thing controlled alan i mean even if he um stunned that one but he uh killed the rest three unit then the on yuki wouldn't do anything he got nerfed twice ah uh, dude he got nerfed twice he did he did get nerfed twice look at this yeah this is kind of like his ideal situation for when like, oh, well, not the attack bar decreasing. What I'm yeah. saying is Ongyuki wants to get crowd control. So he wakes up and get a dam and gets a damage buff. I almost think that Ongyuki might need something kind of like what Juno has, where Juno gets the speed buff once she's applied. Uh, well, then it's going to be the best unit uh, when you're talking about Bruiser unit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then it'll be But real. over here is going to die from the dot. So. And there it is. And that in just one Masha is not gonna do it hey hydralski what's up three digital welcome to the stream guys well light and dark four star and plus unit how do you yeah we're seeing a lot of solid comps today evan i missed you this afternoon i know today that it got pushed back a little bit because the the discord fight or the discord conk tournament happens at 4 p.m okay so that's one down alan you want who do you want to watch next uh md5 md5 yeah, MD5 is um, the name that I know a player in Thailand was playing, and he's normally in like top 20, so I don't know if it's the same MD5. Oh, MD5 spectating. Uh oh. <laughs> so <he's not> <laughs> yeah, they're spectating right now. Why don't yeah. we. You want to jump into a neighbor? Who, who's a close second? Uh, I mean, it depends on you. Just, just go to a random one, let's I guess. Do, let's do. I see Red Yak. Red Yak. Let's do them. You three. Radiac versus Kingdom with the oh. the Nide win. <laughs> the Nide win Peter it's, Griffin. It's a gap door over there. Yeah, I love bra gap door. Yeah, this is a good comp right here. Bring bring in the, the gap gap goop gap gore. Bring in them with the ragdoll and the Veramos. This is like the perfect this is the perfect draft for Gapsu. Yeah, so we all know that he have to ban out the last pick, the Doom Man over there. But what if the Ragdoll get banned out, so he don't have big damage? Yeah, no, he doesn't. He he's he doesn't have a lot. Uh, Kingdom's gonna probably keep him controlled out with the Charlotte. Now that Ragdoll's Ragdoll's banned, this is the situation that like Veramos doesn't love. Let's just hope mm -hmm. Bird procs. Let's hope we get a couple revenge procs off Bird. But I mean, if the hay game move first, he gonna just put the glancing on the vert, and the vert wouldn't do anything. Yeah, dude, I was actually just in that situation today where I glanced up a vert with a hay gang. Um, oh. And just like you said, it, it it did win me the game. Boom, and you get the oh. stun. <laughs> Bro gets. So everything. right now, <laughs> right now he got uh, control with um, the Charlotte and um, artifact damage as well. So inventory, he gonna die. Yeah. And the most scary thing about this team is the segment skill 2 would provide defense break. Wow. Yeah, the yeah. defense break is definitely the the biggest the biggest aggressor on that team, I'd say. It's the setup. Yeah. And now he's in a position where he can just take down the bird. It just kind of comes down to the threat assessment. Does he see that the bird is the big priority? Um, he's going for Veramos first. What do you think of that targeting, Alan? Um, actually, it's not bad because he entered the position right now. He can just basically kill any unit that he won yeah, because everyone has low <laughs> so even if riley proc over here everyone got heal blocked as well so it didn't do anything exactly and so i i i don't think it's necessarily wrong to to get veramos out of here too. keep him keep him controlled because if he gets a turn 
and is able to cleanse up units, you're gonna lose your advantage. We got look like double glance double on the bird. Yeah, yeah. Donaghy says, Evan, did you pick your free nat five already? I did. I took Shizuka. Very pleased. I'm very pleased with her so far. Um, I've been building her. Oh, I also got Chandra, guys. I summoned a Chandra, which is technically a dupe, but I fed the original. Wow. All right. There you go. The round two. So we're going to get to watch uh, the third round from this one right now. Hopefully he pick uh, another aggressive unit on the side of the, um, the the left side, because Riley basically do not win over there. Yeah, Riley. This should be another a, threat. She it really didn't get a turn. You know, I, I'm trying to think what else I would have preferred to see in there. Maybe maybe like a Juno or a, I, don't, I don't know if you're looking a for Juno, something. Juno, a Masha can work. Yeah, there you go. Masha would have been great. Swarmzorg says, does he read chat? Yes. We are reading chat right now. Why are there two Lucia, by the way? Dude, don't even get me started on that. There are two Lucia, there are two Silvers, there are two Nicks. We got multiples yes. going on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we got ch chat is all about, I know the double names is crazy. I like both Nixes, and I find it funny that the second Nix has a one in it. <laughs> well, at least they try something different, right? Yeah, exactly. I love the new naming convention. I think that's pretty cool. Mm. Maybe okay. in the future, they're going to put Alpha or Beta, the Psy, in the name as well. Yeah. Swarmzor says, okay, so we want Killer and next. Roger that. Uh, Tidepool C says, I like how Come to Us shows us the stats of what Nat 5's uh, people are choosing. Me too. I think that's like the my favorite part, actually, because it lets new users kind of make a uh, make an educated decision, even if they haven't played the game for long. They can kind of make a good sound choice just through observation. Oh, here we go. Red is going for a very aggressive start with Sonya. Now it's gonna be hard. He have to pick a um, swift unit beside. Uh, well, he can pick the more as well, so he can cut in after the Chiwu. But still, if he go like this already, it should be like um, Juno or something, a fire unit here. Okay. Instead, what's up, Infamous Wolf? What's going on? Uh, but if he pick like chat? that, both. But if he pick like that, he uh, have to force ban the Leo as well as, you know, they can pick a Leo and a Dinah together. Yeah, I'm surprised. So let's see what he thinks. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Leo get slammed down yet. That, that would be, oh, Fang. Fang is a good answer to the Sonya, high defense. And then Triana is a second answer to the Sonya. So we're, he's confident he's not banning that he's kind of saving for the last one so do you think that he's planning on banning the tessa yeah he have to ban a tessa there you go. because got... then he have like two wooden unit to deal with two water unit chat what's going on dude don't worry i'm watching both chats right now i got both twitch and youtube oh yeah for folks watching we're, we're live on twitch and youtube right now if you're on twitch you can use command new survey to fill out the survey uh and if in, if you're on youtube i'm gonna post it periodically like right now Right now, it has been posted. Oh my god, that was a fast start. Sonia knocked her out quick. Oh, and a Sunford hit as well. Dude, yeah, this is uh, already looking This is solid. our rune. This is, this is it. <laughs> this is our rune angle over here. Yeah. Missed the defense break. Oh, okay. I would say because of the 33 speed lead versus the uh, 24 speed lead, so... Sonya move first and kill um, the, uh, what do you call the Edna? Mm -hmm. But here it would be so much better than beside the uh, Feng Yan over there, he can go with Triana and Leo. So you basically have to ban two units at the same time for Sonya to work. Exactly. Dude, Kanagi, I couldn't agree more. I'm loving the music right now. Oh, and the defense break on Fang. That's it. Honestly, that's 
it's pretty much game right now. I mean, Shiho can actually finish this uh, on his own and the ignore defense, the boom, there you go. And that's game. Well done, Red Yak and Kingdom. Uh, let's go back in. We've still got tons of people playing. Oops, I accidentally, I accidentally bailed out of the match. Hold on, stand by, guys. Stand by one second. Dude, the music. I'm loving the music right now. Excuse me, guys, while I go back in real quick. By the way, the background that you have on the screen looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad I got a chance to show that off, actually. I just realized the gameplay is blocking it. It's so it's so pretty, and yet we don't get to see it very often. I know. Looks like Mordred is still playing, so I'm going to go ahead and look in there. Light Lich is so annoying. I saw that on your team, Evan. Sorry, Squishy. <laughs> Sorry to contribute to the trauma, dude. <laughs> Wait, you actually you Light Lich in RTA? What? No, no, Arena. Arena defense. Arena defense. Oh, I see. <laughs> That unit is so annoying before all the stripper that, you know, in the game. It's yeah. so annoying. Wait, is it just me or is my camera really far back? It's just you. Is it just me? Chat, yeah, no, wait. I th wait, wait, wait. No, I think chat. Right? This is like really far back, right? Uh, never it's mind. not. Never mind. Chat, back me up. tonagi has got my back. Looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, it's looking good as ever. I know it looks good, but it looks far. Never mind. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Oh, there's the unit that I got. That beautiful Shizuka. Cam, find music loud. Boom. There you go. Oh, can barely hear. Can barely hear me. How about now? I think that's probably better. I turned up my mic a little bit, lowered the music. Now we're chilling. Thank you for that chat. I appreciate the feedback. So this one is looking pretty far into the game right now. Yeah, that, it's, it's over. <laughs> it is, it's it's over. I think this, this may be one of the last ones uh, that's going in round one of the tournament, mm -hmm. I think. Let me refresh the conch tournament bracket right now yeah so we only have a couple places left we only have a couple placements left in the in the bracket and then we'll after we watch this one once round one is completed i'll bring the bracket back up for folks who might be joining a little bit late i'll just describe it one more time so for the discord conquer tournament we start with 32 players and we narrow it down from there i'm bouncing around to different games as we go everybody's playing for prizes third and fourth place get 300 crystals second place gets a verd sd figure and 500 crystals also important to note the sd figure comes with a coupon for 20 mystical scrolls and 750 crystals and then the first place gets a 10th anniversary trophy and 500 crystals there's also a coupon with the trophy which is cool a trophy yeah, it include and it includes a coupon for ten mysticals, one LD, a Devilmon, and five hundred crystals. So that's kind of kind of crazy. Yeah. Wait, this is looking slightly less over than it was when we joined. Yeah, why didn't he focus on killing the Feng Yan before it got healed up? <laughs> like I don't know. That's the win con. Now he can do it. He can he can confirm the kill here, right? I think Tessa. Mm -hmm. No, Tessa doesn't no. move ahead. Tessa does not yeah. move ahead. Yeah, he needed to kill that thing fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is slipping away from him right now. Tessa needs to, like, do some serious work. Oh, he can proc here. S2 into S1. Do it. No. Oh, my God, and the soul protect. Fang might... Uh, he might have turned this game around right now after that. Oh, and he got the soul protect off him. Dude, Gapsu... Is gap goaded. It's crazy. He's so yeah. good. It's basically a Rakuni with damage. Exactly. A Rakuni with damage and control. Like, that's the most disgusting description for a monster I've ever heard. <laughs> Swamp Ninja, I'm glad you like him, dude. Thank you for that. Thank you for the feedback. That thing is stupidly tanky, says Kanagi. I mean, you... you don't pay attention to it for one second, and it almost took the game back. With Shizuka's yeah. help, but... 
But then again, skill 2 of Gapsu ignore defense. So... <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true damage. Like yesterday, I was playing and I used Gapsu. I basically one-shot the Sonya with skill 2. <laughs> I do like 14k That's on the Sonya. Crazy. <laughs> That's wild. That's the power of like HP scaling damage. Hopefully reminds... he doesn't get nerfed. Yeah, seriously, it reminds me of like peak Wusa. That's actually what it reminds me of uh, Wusa days. Yeah, it used to be like 20% max HP and then they got nerfed to like 15%. I think that reason why Comptas release Gapsu with like 15% rather than 20%. I have the units, just not the runes. That's the sentiment. Genie, what's going on, dude? Rakuni with legitimate stats, lol. For real. So, here, so here's the thing. That team is like, obviously they're holding on by a thread, but like there's so much support over there. This team is kind of having a hard time cracking down on it. Oh, and the sleep as well. What the? <laughs> Dude, the sleep. The sleep only comes around when you're, like, slipping behind. You know? It's... Oh, it's so bad. That's just... It just feels like a kick in the butt. Yeah. It's, it's basically feel like um, whenever you use Camilla or Vanessa, but you reset with S1. Yeah. It's just so tilting. <laughs> It, it is very tilting. Like, it's it, it drives me crazy. OFNF says, just had an insane Magnum game. That's the kind of gameplay I want to see in the Conk tournament. I want to see people drafting Magnum. What was the enemy comp? Step. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's... As soon as it's Woosa on his own, it's like, it's over. Gapsu can just absorb that. So I started playing Gapsu for like three, four days, but on every stream I feel really sleepy because <gasps> every match takes like ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. He clean. He just cleanses, cleanses himself, heals himself. Mm-hmm. It's time to scoop. Poor Wusa. And also, and also S1 does um, damage based on his max HP. So if you put him on crit dam, uh, crit raid, he would do a lot of damage. Let's see, is anybody still playing right now? Trash can senpai. Looks like trash can senpai is the last one with Mordred. Oh, and we're still in the pick ban phase. Wait, we're at match point. Let's go. Accidentally joining on the most hyped game in the set. Yep. Take that. They really met up Ben, huh? Uh, Oliver and uh, Smicer. Oh, um, Reverend of Swagger says I need to make a gap suit. Yeah, uh, oh, absolutely. Definitely make a gap suit. Look at this. He's getting the ban. He got pre-banned. If that's not an ad for a monster, I don't know what is. Yeah. Also, I, I fusioned 10 gap suit two days ago. It took me like three weeks to fusion 10 gap suit. 10? Yeah, 10 Gapsu. Instead of Devilmon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. <Yes. laughs> but Dude. it's actually work. It's actually work. That's crazy. I first picked him every match after that, and basically got like 40% ban on the first pick Gapsu. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. They even let Ragdoll on through. They'd rather ban the Gapsu than the Ragdoll. That's saying something. Yeah. Oh, Zenisek. Yeah. Um, and then I saw Brayden over on YouTube was asking how to join this. Uh, you would sign up through Discord. And if you want to join our Discord too, it should be in the description. It, actually, it may not be in the description. If you go to any YouTube video on our on our channel, it's in the description there. If you're on Twitch, you can use command Discord and then follow from there. Fua. Salve Fua. How'd it go, dude? How, did, how was your match? Hold on. Let me check the bracket. Did you move? Did you get it? And noise, and noise, dude. Nice. I just checked. So over here, he can go with the Suzuka or any form of immunity. He have to pick an immunity here. Oh, yep. nice call. And maybe one more. Oh, a Feng Yan also work. Oh, killer and 
It says it's Jover. I lost. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Here he can go with another bruiser. Uh, a Nana. Think of the Nana. Is, the Nana is not as good. Yeah. The Riley actually fine here because now over here he have to ban out the Sarian and Suzuka because if you don't ban out Suzuka you have no strip and you just get bombed to death. Yeah. Uh oh. Salvi Manfrini. Do the blazingly though. Got the double puppeteer action right now. The Zenny and the Smicer. Do you like the the dark puppeteer? Uh, it's pretty good, I would say. Because you cannot push him back, and then he heal with revenge, and then he bomb as well. So maybe they take the revenge heal out. Something like a something burn. like that. The revenge heal is pretty strong because it's a sizable yeah. one. What is it like 20 percent, or is it eighteen percent? Um, it's eighteen percent. It's eighteen percent. Okay. And also now it's Smicer strip. It's now all up to Smicer. Strong. It's all Smicer. <laughs> and he stripped the shield. Oh, dude. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> Suzuka can strip with S1 as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not all on Smicer. Check this out, chat. Here comes Shizuka. <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the maybe thing about the uh, the thing about the team above is yeah. they don't have defense, right? Yeah, they don't. Actually, that's a really good point too. So yeah. this team down here actually has some longevity. Yes, and a monkey can like sustain the cell as well with like the Smizer and the Zenisek can heal with S one. Yeah. So, so over basically, time, right it's... now, mm -hmm. basically right now they just give the below team the attack buff. An attack buff monkey gonna be really crazy. That's gonna hurt. So yeah, the over time, that's a really good observation actually between the monkey and the dual single target strips. They actually might get set up. Like, and they broke through the immunity already, which is pretty cool. Boa for El Tombe. You see, Smizer? Yeah, this look at the heels. It just stripped um Camilla over there and give it two turns island. A good unit. I almost wanted to pick Smicer. I picked Shizuka because she's a little bit more uh, reliable. Because you know, Stoic and I were talking about Smicer the other day, and and everything Smicer does is accuracy resistance checks. You know, there's nothing that he can do that you really de you can really depend on except for that skill one heal. Mm -hmm. We got a question in chat from Tide Pool C. Is the light or dark puppeteer better? Thoughts on that one, Alan? Uh, it depends on the calm you play. If you play turn one, then the light one gonna be better. But if you play defensive turn two, then the dark one gonna be better. Because you basically cannot push back and stun the dark one, which is like two debuff really strong right now in the game. Oh, he got the increased cooldown time on Shizuka. It's the skill. It's exactly what you were talking about with the tilting Camilla skill one. Big hit from the monkey too. But it's over. <laughs> It's it's Jover. <laughs> right? Oh dude, that's exactly what I was talking about, the double res. But it's okay, Shizuka can do it. Shizuka can put all this stuff on. Yeah, it's it's pretty much Jover. I would say the Riley this match didn't do anything at all. So the last pick had to be like a single target snipe. It's gonna be much better, like fire Cassandra, or something like that. Adaptness work as well something like to that. kill the monkey right away. We have a the running joke of of uh, the uh, Camilla being ran being uh, ruined on triple optimism. <laughs> it's like you know she's <laughs> sticking around. <laughs> Well past when you know the monkey can can defeat Camilla on his own, so and she's still here. Manfrini, muito obrigado, Leandro. Desculpa, não fala português. 
Wow, it's pretty nice that you can speak a little bit Portuguese as well. <laughs> Just Damn. A <laughs> Just a little. Just enough. Just enough to make people giggle. And that's it. Man, sticking around. Yeah, the one thing that the top team has is sustain. Like, they're really sticking around. Oh. Oh, that's big. Nice crits from the monkey. Huge damage from that bomb, too. You know what is the best monster into two um, immunity buff? What? Gelnir. Oh, Gelnir is really good. Yeah, you have to ban it, or else you cannot kill anything. Yeah, you'll never do any significant damage at all. I used to, I used to put him on despair revenge when I play on you know viewer account, and whenever he revenge and despair, I just. It's so toxic. It is very toxic. Oh, I just got this transmog for Camilla today from the event. Do you like the strand mock more or the siege more? I think the siege the is siege much one. better. Siege one is siege one is definitely the best to me. I love the siege one. I think that's beautiful. I think out of the selections from this segment of the transmog event, though, I think this is one of the better ones. Hmm. Chat, what did you pick from this selection? Oh, he keeps getting that increased cooldown time on Shizuka. It's too little too late, but it's funny how consistent it's been on Shizuka. It's pretty tanky, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's the stun. He could double down. And by that point, the, the writing is on the wall. There you go. We know that it's one. And I believe that was the last one. I, I think that was actually the last round in, in round number one right now. Let me double check real quick. Look at that. There we go. So that's what we're looking at. Currently, the, the bracket is fully filled out and we just watched the last one. So we're going to start round two right now. Still in a best of three for this part. So best of three all the way through. Why don't we start? We, we saw that Fuo was in chat. No pressure, Fuo, but we could start by by watching there. Yeah, let's see how he cook. Yeah, let's watch him cook. Let me see Fool, where is he? Unless he's out, where did he go? Oh, there he is, Fool Bayahi. Nice, okay. Nosa, congrats to everybody who moved forward after round one. Yeah, no pressure, for real. No pressure, dude. We're watching you first. Is Fua smurfing? That's a good question. Fua? Yeah. <laughs> Answers? That's thoughts? suspicious. Suspicioso. Let's see. Evan, can you confirm if that stacks with team buffs? Could you? What was the question again? I might have... Oh, attack power, defense, and attack speed decreases. If it granted on yourself will be changed. If you get decreased attack power, your attack power... Wait. Can you confirm if that stacks with team team buffs? I believe it's just on herself. I was under the impression that it essentially just flips the the meaning, uh, her personal interpretation of the buffs mm -hmm. on herself. That's how I think I interpreted it. So she basically can get a double buff if she get like a, a attack rate and an attack buff. So basically she get like twice. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't count for other members on the team, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Be Beelzebub. Yes. Same thing. It would be pretty OP. That's what I meant. If it's a double buff. Correct. Yeah. It's not a double buff. It's kind of a cool unit. I really like the cyborgs and the hackers. They seem pretty sick. Oh, Shadow says light cyborg damage is, is so bad. Really? I haven't gotten a chance to try any of them yet. I summon a light cyborg, but then I don't think I will ever use her because the skill one, just like skill one and skill two, just single target hit. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it's not a multi hit. So they're a little bit underwhelming to you. Did you get any of the hackers? 
I summoned 500 scroll, didn't get any single hacker. Yeah, I haven't gotten one either. Ray up, by the way. Which, what's up, by the way? I, I say Ray up, by the way. Oh, yeah, Ray up. At, at SP summon? Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. Yes. I uh. even bought a pack for the uh, collab. Seeing people pull three LD5 on 200 scroll, I just, I just cannot. I really like, I, I'd love to get the water hacker, which is kind of like a single target version of Veronica in a way, you know, mm -hmm. it seemed, seemed neat to me. I'd like to get him. I mean, the LD one seemed dope. I was watching some gameplay of the light one and honestly, Nyx just sounds super cool. The dark one. Yeah. The water one is kind of the idea of Obabo when like before they nerfing Veronica. So Obabo say something like, oh, Veronica gonna strip everything, but it just reset cooldown on the unit that you click on. Right. But they actually released the unit that do exactly like that. So they just change. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's a great idea for a new unit. Yeah. <laughs> wow, interesting. Okay, so Fua did the pre-ban on the Fire Ryu. No Douglas allowed. Why would he reban Fire Ryu and he pick Water Ryu? That's a good question. Because the Water Ryu, yeah. So fool, maybe, maybe we'll reevaluate that preban just in case. Oh, mm -hmm. and I love the the Chandra. The Chandra is really fun, but it could get reset by the cigar. <laughs> come to us, roots. Come to us, roots. Vamos Brasil. And noise. And noise. Vamos lá. See, this is the thing Ooh. about we, we have all these people watching the tournament in here that are actually in the tournament. So it's like we might accidentally be getting in their heads a little bit when we're casting. Mm -hmm. uh, Vinny. Okay, he still need another damage over here. Uh, Vinny, could you now? Um, my, uh, you can use command and catch. Uh, new. A new survey. The end catch is under new survey. N-E-W survey. Then over here, Don Goku can just pick like a uh, Suiki and he have two force men already. Oh yeah, he could do a Suiki right here. That would actually be pretty sick. Oh, PP and the band gonna be on. And the band gonna be on Tessarian. On like an Oliver over here. Yeah, it could be. Could be that ban. Yeah, I think the Oliver was a good choice. But then again, so over here, like Goku basically have two units that on like a wind element. But Fool have like two fire. And they, oh, there's there's only one passive to shut down on the enemy team with Tessa, but that's okay. Shutting shutting down the Jingje is fine. We'll take that. And also, he get a lucky pushback on the vert as well. Yeah. Oh, got the oblivion on the Jing. Great. Oh, dude, that defense break. Oh my goodness, the Moor is about to go. The slow actually doing pretty good job over there. It's keeping the verd down for sure. Keeping the verd and the Tessa yeah. away. But the verd no not revenge at all. Not at all. And finally, revenge is on the water unit. Three crits out of four possible right now to boost the team up. Let's see if he reapplies the oblivion on the monkey king. Oh, see, so it's this is... Ball for him. It is. It's very much... He's not out at all. That's a really good point because, like, you know, these three fire units can pull a lot of weight right now. Now down to two fire units up against two wind and a fire. If anybody can do it, it's these two as well. Like Juno is built for this type of situation. There's not a lot of burst damage on the enemy team. You know, he can set up the debuffs and it'll end up healing her. She can, uh, she can net zero out the speed, the speed buff, you know, against but the But then slow. again, the thing they over there double crit on the bird. Did you see that? I did. I did. So now he have to focus on uh, the Annabelle if he want to win this match. 
the which one the 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 Annabelle the Artemale <laughs> the Juno the Annabelle which, where's that I don't see an the water one. Oh, the water one the yep. oh the Annabelle Annabelle I see Annabelle Annabelle gotcha 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 and no sleep proc is crazy good for cleave team too says Mo Mogeko yeah totally D if you want to join into one of these tournaments by the way just make sure you're a part of our official Discord server that's how these things are getting ran. Oh, finally, the sleep proc. Who just said that? Squishy? Squishy called that out? Yeah, dude. This It finally happened. Dude. Wait. Armor break? Okay. Annabelle is good three. Oh, GG. Wait. <laughs> well, it's actually GG now. Dude, is the it GG? is kind of crazy. Ain't is no it? way. Wait, Juno is it GG just... though? I I could. Yeah. Dude. Defense, Ain't no way. Defense break proc. Look at this. Juno could Juno can wake up and win this, or I could see Annabelle way. defense breaking proc into a kill. Oh oh. He needs to keep going for the stun. He have to heal here. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, I would have cycled there. I would have cycled off the cigar. Now you go for it. And he have to kill the um, come um, kill the Annabelle. If yeah. You want to oh, he gets the stun, dude. I, it could be Juno's Wait. the one that. Can, why? Why use the skill too? She's just gonna cleanse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's buff as well. <laughs> oh no! What's up, Richard? Oh my God, the Juno carry, dude. <laughs> It's not a good one. That was a great it's, it's game. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, either side could have won there. The only weird play at the end was the skill two on the Juno. I think that was kind of like a, you know, we get into this zone where we're kind of on autopilot, you know, and mm -hmm. he might have even pressed auto. There might have even been a chance where he pressed play. Mm -hmm. But but then, like, again, um, earlier, the Goku team, the, the monkey double crit on the vert, like, yeah. The first crit with skill 2 armor break and the second hit to kill the vert over there is really lucky. It's basically 25% of the time. Yeah. Should we maybe jump to a different game or do we want to want... Let me let me see what else is going on because we've got so many competitors right now. Let me jump over mm -hmm. real quick, guys. I just want to make sure that we get a, a glimpse of a few more players. Let's see who's playing right now. Spectating. Let's go ahead and jump... Let's review Trash Can Senpai. Trash Can Senpai is from the last game that we watched mm -hmm. last time, so we can see who they're fighting up against. Let's see if my camera's at a regular regular distance. Squishy says totally not close. Not even close. That is that's why we draft Juno, chat. I just got Juno a transmog. What transmog do you get? Don't I, tell me you get like the um, jet ski one. No, I didn't get the. I actually got this one. I got this one that's on screen right now. Oh, I see. Dude, the jet ski. <laughs> I thought the about it. The jet ski is okay. I thought, I thought about the jet ski. Whenever it takes me a long time to get into a spectate, the camera starts further back. I don't mm. know what that's about. But it doesn't show that you're far back on a stream or on like the call. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad it's looking good for everybody. Oh, I like watching the wedge at. The only thing is that like Juno, Juno will eat the wedge at's buffs alive. That's what we saw already. Yeah. And also the Gapsu over there every time that um, the upper team clan, that he basically got 30% ATV. Oh, yeah, it's falling apart. Must be nice having good LD5. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> I wish I had one of those. Yeah. My Lydia is you know, just crying in storage. You know Stoic? Yesterday, he summoned a new LD5. Yeah, I saw. He got the he got the Dark Desert Warrior, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If anybody can make that unit work, it's him. You know, I know that that unit's not super reliable. Uh, he's kind of divisive, but I think there's a chance it could work for Stoic's comp. 
okay, the guy top one right now, um, Han Solo, he basically used him 100% of the time last season, and he is like top eight or top seven. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. But then he have Yon Hong as well. Let's see Mikachu. Mikachu 4. I'm jumping into that game now. For the second set of options for the free transmogs, I got the fancy penguin knight for my dark penguin. Nice, PPHP. I got the Camilla Beach transmog because she didn't have a transmog. I got one for Vanessa, but not for Camilla. Also, oh. have you have you uh, a, a, a member of the Summoner War Reddit, Evan? I do go to the Summoner's War Reddit. Because there was a guy who basically... Uh, do six star sixty wind penguin? <laughs> yes, and then like a couple days after, come to us release the dungeon of the wind penguin. Oh my god! <laughs> Was he manifesting the dungeon? Well, I don't know, but it's this kind of troll there. I love he the max skill, and then he yeah he max skill, and then he six star sixty wind penguin. Goodness, why? That's crazy. He wants to do like the three time world boss with 60 penguins. With 60 penguins? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mikachu went down with that one to Andrew Liam. Also, people was talking about Miles, um, the water sky suffer nerf for like almost two years, and I see no nerf. Yeah, no nerf. I was telling people that, you know, people were asking for like a Miles nerf a little while ago. And mm -hmm. in that same balance patch, they buffed the Wind Indra, which essentially became an AoE version of Miles. <laughs> it's like, whoops, we accidentally made AoE Miles instead of nerfing Miles. That one can kill Juno really easy. The Wind Indra. Can it really? It's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. Skill 1 do a lot of damage. I really want that unit. He looks so cool. I haven't have any intro on my go. It's crazy. Which one did I? I got the fire one, which is not as good, but I, I did yeah. build it. I did build it. I haven't actually used it yet, but I actually, I built it. Not as cool. Not as easy to ruin. Thank you, 3Digital. Fua, welcome back. How did it go? We watched the first round. Did you... Did you move forward? Oh, no way. Shun? Right? Shun is his name? The light yeah. shadow. shadow. Mm -hmm. So he put the uh, skill Casting. 2 on a unit, and everyone basically hit that unit with ignore defense. So you can basically like use him with uh, Molong, so everyone get Dreglet Assault. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, actually, speaking of the Summoners were Reddit, did you see the post uh, someone made an AoE Leo by shadow tying with Zen, and then he used Ignore Defense Torrent on somebody? Yes, but that like cool. the damage over there is less than the damage from the Way shrink. less. Way yeah. less. Oh my goodness. Now we these are some Nat 5s. This is LD abusing. Hello? Uh, yeah, f hello? For real. Yeah, that Kiki is pretty dope. This is a great comp. This is super fun. Oh no, it's not Kiki. You yeah, have they, to ban they one of the LDs yeah. over here. They have to ban Kiki, basically, right? They've gotten they've got realistically no immunity without the Riley. Okay, yeah. there you go. But then he basically get full control and pushback, so he won't get any turn soon. Yeah. Okay, more to start us off. Get some pushback. Get some revenge from the from the Fang. That's kind of a fun way to ruin a Feng Yan. Put him on revenge so you can kind of have mm -hmm. a counterattack buff on all the time. Mm -hmm. 
nice reset. Oliver doing Oliver thing. <laughs> Dude, and the proc. I was gonna say that he should should hit the Vanessa to get the full attack bar, but apparently apparently he's just built different. You see 18k over there. That was insane. And everyone get like 9k ignore defense. That's insane. <laughs> so is he Must not killing the have... is he not killing Vanessa right now so that he can keep her around to do big damage later? Um cuz she he would lose the shadow tie, right? If she were to if she were to die and get revived, he'd have to reapply it, but right now he can wait for like a big hit. Mhm. Mm okay. But the only big hit is getting stunned right now. It being stunned right now, so yeah. He can hit it here, but it wouldn't be a lot. Okay, he's waiting. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like maybe he's waiting for the shadow caster. He's lo he's waiting for Shun to go again so that way he can deal bigger damage. Oh, look at Oliver. <laughs> Dude, Oliver's just going. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Now he can reapply basically. I think that that might have been what he was waiting for. Maybe one more turn. Because the cooldown skill 2 is like 3 turn, I think. And he was stunned. You're right. So we've got yeah. a little a little waiting before. Oh, he procs. Good proc. Let's see, another 18k. Bah. Wow. And you know it go to Laika passive? It does? So I think so, it is. So... It, Interesting. So it doesn't register as like a hit. So it's not a hit. It doesn't register yeah. as, an, as an attack. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. It's basically like Manana Nan. How, let me see how it's phrased. How is that attack phrased? I just want to look up the templating for the skill. So let me, mm -hmm. let me look that up real quick. Is it? Easy game? Because I, because I know that Mananan go through the Laika. Maybe shouldn't also go through the Laika as well. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it, it says that it gives 30% of the first hit damage to all enemies. It gives the damage. So yeah, it's that's an interesting phrasing for that. that I don't think we I don't know if we see that phrasing outside of the shadow casters. But like that's an interesting way to phrase it because it's not a hit, it's not an attack, it just gives the damage. Um, is there one more? Is there one more game being played right now, or is it? It looks like maybe it's all lazy, lazy cats. I'm gonna jump into the spectate for lazy cats. It looks like this is the final one for round two of uh, the tournament. Oh, Mad Expert said that it also goes through Morris passive. I don't know if you might have said that night. Might have not heard it, but that's crazy. I wonder if that makes it so that it isn't eligible for like count. So that now I've got all kinds of questions regarding that skill. That makes me mm -hmm. think that like if there was say like a Manon or like or a Jingje or something on the enemy team, it wouldn't be able to get revenged because it's not an attack. So, uh, yes. Let's say if it's not hitting on a Singsei or a Manon, but yeah. that skill was hitting on other unit, then it still can get counter attack. It still can get like parried, for instance, from like Manon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting, but it doesn't count as a hit anywhere mm -hmm. else. That's, yeah, that's kind of weird. I wonder if their passive says that procs on damage taken and not, not that. Yeah, that's, I wish that some of the templating for skills was a little cleaner at times. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring up the bracket because I believe that was the last game of round two. There we go. So here's what we're working with right now, guys. So you can see the round one that we're that's where we started. Still best of three. Congratulations to Fool, who is in chat. Moving forward to everybody who's in chat with us and everybody just for playing as well. And we just spectated Lazy Cat's game to join up here. Trash can sent by moving up as well, smashing S Fox. Look at this. 
That's so, why he's cooking. So go on, go. Is cooking. So now we're gonna get into the quarterfinals, and then we got the semis, and then the finals. So we've still got a, we've get, we've still got game. There's still game to be had today. Hope everybody's enjoying the stream right now. I know I'm very much enjoying it. I'm glad we get to cast it together, Alan. You got cooked. Um, woven. Woven. Oh, we got, got cooked. cooked. Yep. Oh no, dude! I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. You're gonna cook all the people sometime in the future. Okay. So. Exactly. That's how it, it, the the cooking. You know, it, when it, it goes around, comes around. Yep. Something yep. like that. What goes around comes around when it comes to cooking. <laughs> how fast! I love reading the chat from people who are playing. <laughs> GG, nice, nice sack. <laughs> Good luck, all. Oh, oh, fool, that's nice. On some math experts say if you use Shun S2 on Julian, you will drain the whole team HP, cut the Julian passive. Ooh. That's, that's pretty nice. And then you use Shun with Mola and you reflect the whole team. Yo, Blind Angel asks a very good question does the wind hackers passive work on bosses since it doesn't specify non bot it doesn't say that it doesn't work on bosses so it doesn't specify non bosses hmm maybe we ask apsi about that yeah does that does apsi have the the wind one i know he's got the dark he, one yeah he has the dark one just see if he's got the wind one because the wind one the wind one is the one that prevents death but then reflects that damage that was dealt to him so what you could do is you could oh. bring him into something like giants and then have mm -hmm. the boss like hit you in theory for a ton of damage and then he reflects it back onto the boss I mean, oh the giant... come to us panda it says i took it into giants and i feel like the reflect isn't working interesting so it might it may be that way then because like a giant have about 250,000 HP, but the skill when it do on you when you got armor break, it's just like 20k. So then oh, you okay. basically reflect less than 10% of the boss. So, so it's like nothing. Yeah. Lazy Twitch cats. Lazy cat says, man, these matches are hard. Yeah, this is a great tournament so far, dude. All people just get so much better. So, Panda says that it's preventing the fatal damage, but not seeing any HP drop and don't see the red reflect text. Okay. Ooh. Something that we can, um, you know, <laughs> note down and reflect, I mean, um, report it to uh, the dev team, maybe. Yeah, that might be something to look into, actually. Oh, dude, LL, I would love to have some Cthulhu-style things in the game. Oh my god, that would be so sick. We could imagine if we had Cthulhu. Cthulhu's in the public domain. I would love. You're speaking to the right guy. I love Cthulhu-y stuff. I love cosmic horror. That's crazy that you say that, LL. That's actually such a great idea. I wonder when will we have like bikini Zyros. Dude, Bikini Zyros has got to be real. I'm afraid that it won't mm. happen. I want it to happen, though. I want it so bad. You know, I've actually sat down with, like, members of HQ, like, our dev team, uh -huh. and been all like, hey, we should have Bikini Zyros for real. I've actually, like, said that to people. I mean, they can make it at, like, um, the 4th of July, um, you know, transmog, yeah. just for one day. But... That would be fun. Um, and then there was another one that I wanted to, to shout out to. Love you too, Danny, bro. Evan, I put your face as my wallpaper. I got Deus on my 10 year scroll. No joke. It works like a charm. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, Jesse. That's crazy. Oh my God. That's amazing. Okay. Is that, that you heard it here, folks? Apparently there's a. There's, it increases your rates, dude. Increases the lightning rates. If you've got me as your wallpaper. If I don't get any like um, lightning 
after I put your picture as my wallpaper, will you redeem um, whatever I, I'll I do? Yeah. I'll do whatever I can. I'll send you. A, I, it'll be a better wallpaper. I got. I got to make you a better wallpaper. It'll be. It'll be me like as the Nat Five of your dreams. I want Oberon. So it'll be Oberon with my face. That's that's what mm. I'll do. <laughs> Sound like a fan. <laughs> Oh man, that Juno, narrowly also, dodging death. like, yeah, it dodging death like twice because Monkey have an armor break and Masha missed the armor break as well. Nice, good glance on the Monkey. As long as he killed the Monkey here, he should be able to win this game, like easy. If the Sven Yan armor break and procs. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the Masha, but because I not the other two can take care of Masha. You think you think so? Okay, mm -hmm. I trust you. I trust you. I just know that my Masha loves to crit on water. He have really good additional damage. Yeah, he does. The Juno and the Juno be revenging too. like a charm my alt account too i got nefties and i <laughs> dude i thought i was crazy for a moment that's hilarious jesse oh my god dude you just made my day with that that's so funny love that idea pphp thing is spinning oh dude he's critting on Wusa. you see that alan i'm scared man Yes, but then as long as you don't do any hour prey, because basically do nothing. That's true, and he can't crit anymore because he's glanced. Oh. No! oh my god. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. I, I, I was trying to mute my mic, but I didn't get there in time. Thank you, PPHP. Appreciate it, guys. Man, he keeps hitting the Wooza. He knows. If you kill Wusa, that's the win con. Here it comes. Skill two. If he defense breaks the Wusa and crit. Oh, he does it on the thing. No, I wanted him to do it on Wusa. Thank you, Squishy. Thank you, Blind Angel. Oh, this Feng Yan is not high resistant. Uh oh. Oh no. And now I'm telling you, dude, Masha's got this. Boom! Ah, I mean, oh, dude, Masha. I'm telling you, Masha loves to win in cases like this. Wait, he just double quit twice on yeah, two water did. unit. Like, what the heck? I know. I know, dude. Masha loves critting on water. You just gotta believe. Wow. Oh my That's god. Hacking. Cool. Sacking, <laughs> dude. I don't know if it's is that sacking. Is sacking? Was that sacking, guys? I don't know, chat. That was a... that's true. It is. It is kind of a sack to crit on water, especially double crit water. Also, yeah, the hey gang didn't despair. Well, it despaired Oliver twice over there. Yeah. So. Okay, hold on. Let's jump over real quick. We'll be right back. Let's go look at. Let's go check out. Oh, you know what? Let's watch Lazy Cats. See how Lazy Cats is doing. Lazy Cats was saying that they play their games a little slower. You, you, you must be a cat person, right? Has to be. Keep, yeah. <laughs> Fenrir says. Fenrir Bay, he says, my Masha is carrying me through F three. Ah, Seum, Seum. Oh no! I actually we're we're watching a very, a very long end game right now. I we can watch a few turns of this, but then we might bounce because this is <laughs> this is gonna go on for a little while. No, actually, if the Chandra stun the um, Vanessa here, the S one of Riley do a lot of damage. Uh. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait. You are no okay. longer Evan. You are now Senior Senior Sniffles. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. I am a little senior sniffles today. Maybe I'm allergic to something that I'm not aware of. 
Blind Angel, yes, I think that is the case. Maybe if I used my Light Monkey and Nikki, I would go past C1. That is definitely the case. Uh-oh, he didn't kill the Vanessa in time. Uh-oh. Oh, he didn't put immunity. Wait, he's got to put immunity. No, oh, actually, Chandra would have come kill. out. Chandra would have come out. Maybe? Yeah. Wow. He's stripped. He's stripped, oh. so it cleansed. No! <laughs> yeah. Chandra stripped it, dude. Oh, my God. No, Riley still move here. He doesn't have cleanse, though, because he... he uh... Oh, maybe now he, he has it. Now he's got it. Wrong one. Oh, I didn't find the bomb. I don't think that bomb is enough to kill. I don't think so either. But the Vanessa see. proc a lot. If the bomb kills, I'll jump back over and we can watch Fool's second game. Oh, max HP down. Now it's enough. Boom. Oh, it's kill. Oh, lazy cats. Oh, no. Okay. Going in. Fua. Let's see. We're still in the pick ban phase. We get to see the end of the pick ban phase. Chandra go boom. <laughs> yeah. Chandra did go boom. Oh, my goodness. Fua. I've never seen someone want turn one more in my life. What the heck? Look at this. Oh, I think the ban over here should be a cracker. Because mm -hmm. what if the cracker outspeed the um, Chi Wu, then it's over. Which one? The um, the cracker. The Clara. Oh, the Clara. Clara. The Clara. Got yeah. you. Got you. Yeah, the Clara's Clara could outspeed. Oh, it, oh, it doesn't. But then the more can sack the sun here. No sack. Oh, no. Okay, it's oh. over. <laughs> Provoke two turn, you cannot do anything about it. That is yep. brutal. Look at that. It do so much damage. This unit is crazy. I've heard people thought that this one needs a buff, and I, I thought it was really good. To me, it seems like a great unit. Yeah, it's one of the best bruiser slash CC unit. Because like, I've been playing with it before against um, Veramos and Chuno, and I won. It's we're, really happy really high wind ray. We're joining in watching Trash Can Senpai's game. Looks like they're already in it right now. Oh, that was that was rough, but it was fun fun to watch. Good games. Good games, well played. So Barbara's looking a little low. Comes Wedge at. He can kill the uh, Thessarian here with Barbara's S2, I think. If she have it. Oh, she doesn't. Looks like he's empty right now. Or maybe maybe he just wasn't sure that he could kill, so he didn't want to wake up the Tessa. There could have been that. I mean, if he d does wake up the Tessa, he still push back the uh, ATV, so... Yeah, I think, I, it, just, I, yeah. I think it would have been the right play to go for it. So maybe he didn't have it. Wow, no defense break outside of the Tessa in this game, like, at all anymore. Man, Zenisek is so crazy. Yeah. Very. Heal, bomb damage, ignore defense, and then Smyza silent. Man, how do you get through this? The double puppeteer, yeah, it's so brutal. The only way I can think, like, you should pick it is you try to outspeed it. Which is like the, um, a both team trying to do, but then I bet they don't have good additional damage. So they didn't kill anything before it's get a turn. Look at this healing. Every unit except for Tessa does some sort of passive healing. <laughs> Look at this. It's insane. Must be nice having good LD, huh? Must be nice. My best LD5 is Veramos and Gapsu. <laughs> People think you should have more LD than that. But you don't have any LD. It's kind of it's, it's wrong. I'm, yeah, I've only got Lydia, but I don't use her anymore. 
She's too easy to play around. Melita used to be really good back in when you just start doing RJ, like the first two seasons. Yeah. Because you don't have any kind of like jump on ship and push back and reset. Exactly. Or more. I remember back in the day, the only ship is the Oracle family, Juno, Praha, Gianna, and Chiwu and Wunsa, and that's it. And that's it. Wow, well done, Trash Can Senpai with a clean 2-0 over Smashing. Let's see, Niali. Niali is still in. We're jumping in. What's up, Wuven? What's going on? Also, Squishy says that they're doing their, their stats report while watching. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. How's the stats report coming along? But don't let me distract you. Don't let me distract you from your report. Oh, this is looking pretty good for Niali. No, we see a Tian Lang abuser here. I was just thinking about how stacked our finals is going to be. Like our semifinals and finals rounds are going to be going to be yeah. packed with LD fives. Like there's a lot of quality comps in this tournament. Probably we're going to see the um, Zenisex and the Tian Lang and the Gianna if um, Espa go in. There's the two one. Was that? Wait a minute. Was that the last round in the in the quarterfinals? That one. Stand by, guys. I'm just checking the bracket. Looks like that is it. Oh, S Fox versus Lazy Cat. They're in their last round still. Okay. Maybe pre ban Gianna at this time. Maybe pre -ban Because Gianna. you cannot ban. Yeah, because you cannot ban uh, Hei Yang anymore. Yeah. What's up, Enzu? Gianna and Dooman pre ban. Nice, good pre dance. I find Dooman to be so hard to play around. Yeah, most likely people right now put her on Swift. So you basically go ahead and strip and skill 3 on one unit, and that unit is kind of dead. Yeah. So you have to ban her. Yeah, she's like a force ban. Oh, Adriana Sonia going aggressive as Fox. As Fox is kind of have an upper hand over here already because if he pick like that, then he make the first two pick of Lazy Cat become kind of dead pick. Yeah, because exactly. first two pick didn't do anything here. I guess he can go with Diana here. Diana oh. and something and ban our last pick. Dude, Diana would be actually pretty sick. Oh, Nikki! Wow! Wow, dude, that's awesome. I was not expecting that. Oh, and the water oh. suit. No way. Okay. You could still just ban last pick. Yeah, you gotta yeah. just ban Leo. But then he gonna get um the uh, speed lead ban out. If he ban our speed lead, he can like kill one unit right away. I guess, Edna. I guess that's true, because now Etna is gonna move first. So Etna gonna kill Sonia. Does she have enough skill damage two. to kill Sonia? Let's see. Yeah. Skill two and skill three. Okay, got oh. it. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You're right. Now she can kill. Boom. Dead Sonia. Uh oh. Uh oh. And then the. The water city over here is kind of um, not tuned. It's have to move after the water cookie. Yeah. So that is can kill the uh, Vanessa over there. But yeah, it's not no tuned. damage. It didn't even move after the, the Nikki because the Nikki couldn't. Nikki couldn't give attack buff. So now he in the weird position that he have to buff here. But if he buff, he got stripped. And if he got despair, he dead. Yeah. Oh. Huh? He didn't get despair. 
he could. But still, I get. He could still stay in because I'm, as long as Nikki's here, he can cleanse, and that's an attack buffed cleanse too. So it's gonna get a full heal. Yeah, the S two on the Nikki over there is kind of misplay. Do you think so? Yeah. Didn't he kind of earlier... have to though? No, he can just like use skill three and try to provoke the water theory. I mean, he can do it now. Oh, he oh, proc. missed. Okay, you don't quit as long as you got Nikki. As long as you got Nikki, you stay in. Yep. Oh, but now it's two. dead. I still think that two turn cooldown on the skill two of Edna is a little bit too fast. Maybe they tune it down. So one turn. One <laughs> Lazy turn, Twitch uh, cat says, I refuse to lose. Clearly you refuse to lose. Nice game, dude. Well done. It is a fast cooldown, isn't it? Coming back in just two turns. Mm -hmm. Especially when oh, she might, cycle. Oh, my, they might need to nerf the skill two into one turn defense break rather than like two turn. Okay, guys, let's. That was the quarterfinals completed. So let me just bring up the let me bring up the bracket for you real quick. So here's what it's looking at looking like right now. We're about to go into the semifinals. We got Unlucky Bunny, Niali, and then down here um, we've got Trash Can Senpai versus Lazy Cats. Who we just saw. Who we just saw take the game. Dude, this has been a great tournament so far. I'm loving this. Let's go Conquerors, guys. Well done. So far, I haven't seen any match that, you know, one side really outpicked the other side, like, right away, which is good because everyone have, like, the same fix skill, the same knowledge about the game um, at a certain level. So I think that's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, and we're seeing really coherent comps, like, good strategies, too, like... Obviously, being the next rank up, we're going to see more, more of that coherency, um, more of that experience really shine through. But everybody in the tournament has done such a great job so far. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, too, everybody just for participating in the tournament gets 200 crystals. But then when you get for like third, fourth place, second place, first place, that's where the big stuff comes rolling in. First place is getting a 10th anniversary trophy. Which that's nuts. I don't even know if I'm getting a tenth anniversary. I don't know if I. I don't know if I get to have one of those. <laughs> to be honest, I think those are pretty, uh, pretty limited. I think Unlucky Bunny and uh, Niali is starting right now. Oh, nice. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna spectate from the side of Niali. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the pre ban is. Oh, free band Wunsa and Bird. Awesome. And I think from here, hopefully we're going to try to do one game. We're going to have them take turns for the semifinals. So that way we don't miss any of the action. You know, these two players kind of read each other's mind because one know that the other going to use Wunsa. So they're going to pick Bird. So they ban out the Bird, other people ban out Wunsa. Yeah. <laughs> like they are actually like deep in the tank. In they're yeah. in, uh, in each other's minds. Oh, Kandroy. How I don't know this tournament exists. You know what, guys? So that's a really good question. I've seen a few people ask about it in chat so far today. If you weren't aware of this tournament happening, just be sure that you're on our official Discord server because these come around about once a month. Last time we had a, a Discord fighter tournament and today is the mm. Conqueror tournament. So if you want to get involved, that's how to do it. But luckily we all get to watch and enjoy and it's it's really fun I, we alan and i did the fighter one together and had a blast doing that too and this one's no different yeah. so a tian lang here and a june wow the pick is really strong yeah this, this is a good a this is a good pick. draft dude look at this yeah. this looks like a guardian pick over here yeah Man, the Tian Lang against the Hei Gang is such a fun draft. And there's the Dark Indra that we've been seeing. I guess the band going to be on the Dark Indra. In theory, that's what I was thinking as well. But because I don't know. Because if the thing is, the thing is, the Dark Indra can, can kill Juno. 
It's really easy to kill you now. Here, you know what? You know what I'll do for now? For so for the for the semifinals, what I'm gonna do is, guys, for the next one, I'm gonna take the gameplay off during the bands just because uh, since you know we can get to spec since we're spectating, we can see them kind of picking around for the bands. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna take the gameplay off next time, guys. Okay, let's see. Sekmat gets to start us off. Oh, she missed. Oh. Oh. Oh, the stun there is good. Two very good stuns, by the way. But then, let's see if he reset anything here. Oh, he got it. He got every single one. Yeah, okay. So now, the... Oliver have to proc or else he lose because of the Devarancha provoke two turn. Two. Oh, he actually proc. He actually did. It. Man, if there's one unit you need to proc, Oliver has got you. It's kind of unlucky because the segment missed the reset on the Oliver. Yeah. In the first turn. Tries but again. I mean, it's happened like 15% of the time, so. Right, that's true. Got it. He finally got the reset there on the Oliver. And now he can just kind of take his time. I mean, if Devarancha proc here, he still might got it. There it is. Just like you said. Okay, no stun. Gets the kill. This is looking pretty clean for Niali right now. Hmm. Pretty unlucky. If he reset the... Um... Oliver in the first turn, he could have won already. Yeah, we might have had a. We, I, I would say that I'd pretty confidently say we would have a different game if he got the reset early on. Solid drafts from both, though. That's just the problem with Sekhmet, man. Like, Sekhmet is either the reason you won or the reason you lost. Yeah. But I mean, it is what it is. What can you do, right? Exactly. At the end of the day, you know that, like, you trap well and then you ban the right unit, then. I mean, if you if you lose, you will not feel that bad. It's just a part of the game that you cannot like escape from. True. Fifteen percent resistance. Yeah, and Sekhmet offers a bunch of benefits too. Like you know, you there's a little bit of a give and take there, right? Like she does the whole shebang. She strips and she tries to reset. Plus, she has value after turn one, which is kind of mm -hmm. hard to find sometimes. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. Yeah. Where's the Discord Guardian it tournament? Oh, hopefully soon. Okay. Sorry about that, team. For, uh, for the folks in chat over on YouTube, I just posted the survey too. So if you want to fill that out, you can get you can get some crystals. We send out our we send out 75 crystals to a random number of people equal to the max viewership we get on stream. Um, so hopefully we can get you set up with 75 crystals for filling that out. We appreciate it. I will fill that out as well. I need crystal. Nice. Do it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, same eh? How long? Man, Niali's got everything that they need. Yeah. And uh, Bunny replies with some pretty high damage units with the Liesel and Masha. Mm, the thing is, he don't have any stripper if he got the Wunsa ban out. But then again, the nearly side doesn't have any immunity. Exactly. I was just thinking the same thing. It's like, you know, there's there's not much to strip. You know, it's just the, the beginning. Mm. You just need the immunity. Oh, man, those happened so fast. I didn't even have time to take the gameplay down. That's <laughs> Okay, I got to be quicker on the draw for that, clearly. Or maybe tell them to like ban in the last second so then you don't have to do it yeah. so they can just like yeah okay he gets the gets the strip oh and he got the reset oh my word it's essentially two turns of reset it's crazy oh resist then no way the monkey's going down so fast Let's see how much is the heal. Maybe it's 9k. Is it 7? It, I think it's... A, was that like 5.9 or am I tripping? I might I might have been hallucinating that number, but I think it was something Maybe 5.9. 5.9. Mm -hmm. 
Same is saving everybody. Say may, more like save me, am I right? <laughs> 5,835, thank you, Elegy, dude. The eyes, you got the six eyes? How did you see that? That's crazy. Gojo? Nah, I'd win. Wait, why didn't, didn't he kill the monkey over I there? I don't know. I, that was my question too, because he just saved the monkey by doing that. I, I know that the chances of killing the monkey there with Oliver were highly unlikely because it's... I don't know if skill one could have killed him there, but you should try because mm. Seimei could have healed him. <laughs> Bro, thank you, Gojo. <laughs> Nikki can still do it. Yeah, he's got good units for it. 2.7 per hit. Why, why did Seimei not protect the fire monkey? I'm not sure. I would because have to watch the wounds it. Are, because oh. the wounds are half skill too. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. I couldn't remember if he used it or not. That's a really good call. Could have stripped it. Got a double whammy. Oh, sleep here. Kill the Masha. Sleep a proc. <laughs> Thanks, oh, the salty yeah. brawler. Where does, your, where does your name come from? <laughs> I'm. Are you salty? <laughs> Tide pool. I was paid to ask that question. <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me, chat. Y'all are so funny. Okay. Oliver working double time. Oh, Nikki resisted. If Nikki does Nikki does Nikki proc and have skill too? No, unfortunately not. He can get a monkey back up and then kill the Oliver over here and then he win. <laughs> Seime is just so good. Either give me Seime or Oberon come to us. Like, okay, please. yeah, you'll get the uh You'll get a picture of me either as Seime or Oberon if you get neither mm. of them. <laughs> Oh, Salty Brawler, I run a D&D &D campaign. It was the name of a local beachside inn. I just adopted it for my IGN after that. Dude, I love D&D. &D. I'm actually running a campaign on Friday. That's crazy. I have the next session for my campaign uh, Friday evening. Get squishy. Got me kicking my feet giggling. <laughs> Bruh. Have you dangled your little feetsies out the back of a Ford F-150? Oh, Oliver win the game. Uh, Oliver legitimately carries, like, he just takes so many. Thank you, Brawler. He just takes, like, three turns for everybody else's one. It's Balan. It's Balan. It's Balan. Yeah, that reason why I haven't got nerfed, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> true i've been drafting more jingjie recently because of him actually i've been drafting more jingjie and i've been returning to antares i've got this sort of like summoner's war singularity theory where we will always return back from antares you know it's like we drift mm. further away from antares and then it all just comes back to him we get pulled yeah. back in by his gravitational pull like one of the best player in summoner war ping roy first pick antares and he like always top 10 He's always, yeah, and for good reason. <laughs> Jesse, you're so funny. <laughs> Only gave me out of five, I'd give it a hundred. Oh, dude, you're great, man. <laughs> Squishy says, what even counters Oliver? Great question. I mean, um, you pick Oliver. First, yeah, the best thing you can do to counter Oliver is pick an Oliver or ban it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's kind of like what Alan and I were talking about. You can use Antares. You can also use Zhang, I find. I think Zhang is actually a pretty decent option, too. Mm -hmm. um, the fire fire cookie, the fire, uh, I'm sorry, fire pure vanilla, uh, the fire pudding princess, which is kind of like Jackson at home. Jackson also does. Who else? Can you think of anybody else? I think Fang, lightly, like a, like a Fang Yan can kind of hurt an Oliver. If you put Feng Yan on Riven, 
That's or easy. elf, and yet just didn't do anything. And then but you um, can go with Masha as well. I also really like Etna as like a turn one answer to Miles. You know, you can like mm -hmm. you can turn one, lock him down. Etna's got an absurdly high base speed, so you can get turn one. You can use skill three to just strip him, stun him, mm -hmm. and then hopefully with that little window of opportunity, you could use something like a Masha to skill two and kill immediately. So the the truth is there are there are ways around it. There's also the like the fire robo technically, but the fire robo is not really an answer because mm -hmm. most of the turns Oliver gets aren't violent procs. They're they're built in. Oh, and PPHP said the same thing. Fire robo so underrated. That's so funny. I didn't even see that message. I think so too. I just think that for Oliver, in particular, it's a little hard because they're built in. Oh yikes! Uh oh. Mister doing her thing, dude. Every time. Oh, the more than trip anything. <laughs> no, no, he's just dead here. I think he's just dead here. Took your life. Yeah. What's going on, Took? How are you? Okay, now he's dead. Yeah, Come wait on, a minute. Devaranja. Wait a minute. Yeah, Devaranja is going to take this team to go now. Hold up. Maybe we didn't need Sekmet. Sekmet was optional. Let's see who we bomb here. Nice. Mm hmm. Good, good answer. Oh, that's Sierra on Crit Gray as well. Because most Sierra now they build on, you know, HP, not yeah. Crit Gray anymore. Oh my god. God, dude, I, I thought they were behind after missing with Sekhmet. Now all of a sudden they turned this around. Well, he missed with Sekhmet, but the opponent more didn't strip anything. You're right. He missed everything. Good. Thank you, Took. It's been it's been great. Nice. Congrats to Unlucky Bunny. Okay, so Unlucky Bunny is the first from the semifinals to move forward into the finals right now. So just as a reminder for anybody who might be joining with us now, a little bit late, here's the bracket currently, right? So we just watched Unlucky Bunny advance into the finals. So they're now occupying the first slot. We're about to watch Lazy Cats versus Trash Can Senpai. That's going to be the last game in the semifinals before we move on to the finals. That was hype. Indras are goaded, says Squishy. I love the Indras. Plus, they look like SSJ2. Like, that, to me, that's a huge win. I know, I know. It's so cool, right, Alan? I love it. Yes. <laughs> I would love to have that one with Dragon as well. Because that is like the unit that, one of the units that I can spam with Dragon every game. Yes. Oh, that'd be so sick. That'd be awesome. They should make a transmog for it uh, that's like, that looks like uh, Super Saiyan 3. That'd be super cool. The art team is carried. I, the art team is consistently amazing. Mm -hmm. How would you Did use? Did you see the new transmog? Oh, the new ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and for so for chat, by the way, we're gonna spectate from Trash Can Senpai's side. We're spectating from Trash Can Senpai. Uh, cool Bruce says, "How would you use Dias? Is that the the that's the light one, correct?" Dias? You mean Dias? Dias? Yeah, I think I might have been mispronouncing Dias. Um, that one need something, need a buff, because he he like supposed to do damage, but his damage is like not that good at all. So, if you want to use him, you can use him in the Leila Heigang Tomoe Con. Oh wow, first picking first picking the Chandra makes me happy that I pulled one. Dude, I, I fed Chandra like way too early. I mean he was bad back in the day. I'm glad I got another one. I put the transmog on him, like the baby transmog on him, and I never regret it. It's so cute. It is really cute. <laughs> Hear me out, Thor style transmog on the water, Indra. Yeah, looking like the Thor BB. Totally. That would be sick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I pull, he say we can use AI art, no need for our team. Dude, but the no. AI art is, yeah, the AI art is basically stealing the art from other, you know, artists. So you're yeah. basically gonna get being sued by doing that. Yeah, and our art team is so good. I could never, in good conscience, say that. Like they're they're amazing. Yeah. Oh wow, strong last pick. Hold on, guys. Let me. Uh... Let me, I'm just going to bring away the gameplay for a second while they're deciding on bands, guys. I'm going to try to make this a habit. Instead, look at that beautiful background art for the 10th anniversary. We'll bring it back after the bands have completed. Just while they decide. Okay, there we go. The bands are decided. Gapsu's out. Chandra's out. And leader skills are getting chosen. I think Lazy Cat have an upper hand in this match. Yeah. Lazy Cats does. Man, how do they prevent death from the fire Cassandra, though? Do you think that they can. Or do you think they just lose a monster and then just win with three, kind of? Maybe. It depends on, like, if um, the Suzuka use S3 over here. Because the bottom team doesn't have any stripper. Mm hmm. You have to use it. Oh, oh. they didn't use it. Missed. So now it's a little awkward too because like, you know, the Cassandra's slower, right? So What's up, Jed? Says hi, Evan. Oh, he, uh -oh. Uh, attack buff Tessa coming in hot. Can really do some damage on the monkey. Yeah, he have to kill the monkey first. Maybe it's just S1 over there. If I was him, I was gonna just S1. Yeah, you just kind of, you take the kill where you can get it. Oh, not enough. But that's okay. Actually, Riley can clean, anybody can clean that up. Oh my god. But Tezuka getting a turn with skill 3 now. Dude, we needed, we needed to kill. Oh no, lazy. He need to farm better artifacts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but it is. Oh, dude. Oh no, lazy cats, no. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit yet though. You're off element, you know? Or rather, you're forcing them to be off element. Let's see, maybe she'll glance. Oh my god, he's not glancing. It's kind of unlucky for lazy cat as well because the uh, the water one over there, I, I forgot his name. Uh, Pajarnia? He ran her. Per is it's not pro. It no. Oh, <laughs> it's not provoking the Suzuka. Oh, no. The Riley's gone. Does he have any self sustain, actually? I don't remember if he, he can he, revive oh, himself. He does have life drain, too, it looks like. He's dealing a little damage and getting some back. It's yeah, pajamas. And he can revive himself. Pajamas. That's what people call him. Wait, hold on. He might, he might do it. He might be cooking. Uh, oh, procking. Oh my God! The AOE two turn provoke. He's got he's got a window. Is he? He's got a long way to go to solo though. I don't know if you can. Like soloing from here is so hard. I would be hitting the fire units only because you get the spread damage. But like that's just me. I I might be misplaying. Oh my God! This is so sick to watch. As long as long as they keep glancing, they're good. But that stun really hurt. Oh no! All things, but no death break. Oh my I God, mean, the crit. if I Cassandra gonna... Yeah, that's it. Two here. Oh, the skill one. <laughs> oh my God, the skill one. <laughs> Uh-oh. I would say if he have... Um, Devoranja, it's gonna be different. <laughs> True. Fire Cassandra uh, just needs to get one turn. There it is. Ignore defense. Wow. Well played, Trash Can Senpai. And Lazy Cats, to be honest. Those are those are fun teams. It's okay. Best of three. Best of three. Maybe he need to start thinking of pre-ban 
Zenny sex. Maybe that would be a good call, actually. Yeah, because the Zenny has been like really, he's been problematic from the beginning. Yeah, you cannot push it back. You cannot stun this. It's clan the whole team. It's half bomb. It's half heal. Pairs really well with Smicer. Mm -hmm. We've seen both of them. There it is. It is in the pre-ban. Pater and Zenny. <laughs> solo what? injured the injured in solo. I know. What is your most wanted LD5? My most wanted LD5 right now? Okay, wait, let me think. Let me think. I think maybe I really do want Eleonora. I'd love Bella. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I, I just find units that attack additionally to be really fun. I love turn cycling. So, like, things like Yonhong and Eleonora I'd really like. Um, mm -hmm. I think anything like that would probably be my, my most wanted right now. What about you? I want Oberon. <laughs> oh, that's true. You did Oberon over Seime then, right? So that's the order. You want Oberon, you want Seime. Is there anything else? Yeah. Uh, no. Just no. those two. I'm, I'm like a sim simple man. I, I just want those two. Just those two. You know you want Dorothy, says Blind Angel. I, no, I, I don't. I don't want Dorothy. I'm so sorry to report it. Well, actually, yesterday I got clipped by Dorothy. You did? Yeah, my team is like the 50k HP before the HP lead. But Dorothy clipped me. Oh, Clip Lunar, my whole Lunar. team. Let's go, Evan. Hype for these RTA tourneys. Me too. This has been a great day of tournaments right now. We're in the second game of the semifinals right now. So we're trying to decide who else goes into the finals right now. So we've still got... We've got this set that we're watching, plus one more best of three after this for the Discord Kong tournament. No way. Firehacker, hello? Is that That's Kid? That's insane. Is his name Kid? Is that what it is? I think so. No, it's Tricks, I think so. Oh, that one's Tricks. Uh, that one's yeah, tricks. tricks. The water one is Kid. It's just hilarious because Tricks are four kids. That's crazy. The one, the one man army Maximilian. That's what you want, Jed? You want a Maxi? Oh, nice so, pick, nice last pick. Says kid is the water one. Yeah, kid is. I, and I should know that too because I actually want the water one. You should call for the ban. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Might be, might be. Thank you. There we go. They have been decided, locked out. I'll be more prompt with it next time. Thank you for the reminder. I'm not used to doing that. JKW says, I'm here for, I'm part of the coaching tourney, so I'm here taking notes. Excellent. I love that you're doing homework. That's awesome. Congrats on the kid and the Knicks, Kale. I want the Knicks. Yeah, he seems cool. He's got a powerful passive. Like, re damage reduction and capping debuffs is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, the Doman made it through. Hello? Sorry, chat's, chat's being interesting. Chat's saying some interesting stuff, so I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so Wusa is on the decline. I would say if I was him, I'm going to put the uh, the um, skill tree on the fire monkey. Oh, shoot. Dude, look at this. Lazy Cat with the statement right now. This is some great... Great turn order, some great tuning here. Got some stellar follow-up. The fact that Pajamas followed up to with the two-turn provoke is pretty awesome. Just want any LD5 except Cadiz. Cadiz is kind of dope, Robert. <laughs> Bunny and Cat final says unlucky Bunny. <laughs> That'd be yes. fun. Bunny versus Cats. Oh, dude, that's looking like game. I'm so sorry to say it is looking like it's game. He could kill, actually. He could he could get a kill. That's a tanky Ooh. tricks. What? Yeah. Oh, it's not just because the monkey didn't do enough damage. 
Is it was the monkey's damage that was the problem, not the tankiness of the tricks? Yeah, I think so. Because you get full sack over there, you got 10 sack. Kandroy says, I got Julien. How do I use him on RTA? Dude. Mm, you pick him with Nana and Riley. Yeah. If you get G Julian, it's basically free G1. Congrats. Congratulations on that. Super strong unit. Oh, I'm ready to cover the bands. But yeah, Lazy Cat speed tuning his team is pretty good. They haven't picked yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did you cover the band? They haven't like. Oh, five are you seeing? Yet. Are you not seeing that part? Oh, I'm not covering it on stream. It's just on this. Oh, I see. Here, let me bring it back. Dark Tea Bunny, the new Rika for real, says Twisted. The cats just ate the trash. That's so funny. Lunar Loyalty says, I have Julianne and no G1. Dude, what's going on? What's happening with your Julianne? We should talk about that. There might be something, something wrong with it. Take it into the shop for a tune-up. I mean... It's basically like the, 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 the same thing with a lot of people have Ragdoll, but not everyone gets you on. So this is going to be a tough game because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Alan, but I think every game we've watched from Trash Can Senpai where they picked both puppeteers, I think they've won. Yeah. So I don't think anybody's the... countered it yet. Mm -hmm. Like, what would you pick into that? Would you take cleanse like auto cleansers, like a Juno? What would you take? Uh, I would take something that can kill it right away because look at the lazy cat eye over here. He have three support and probably two damage dealer, which one gonna get banned here, right? Yeah. So he end up don't have enough damage. So even even if he were to like pick a Juno or something here, it might get yeah, banned. Yeah, it, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. So. And also Daphnis nuking is a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is tough. I don't know. What what would you like to see in this last slot? For that last slot, which is not really taking matter. that away. Was... Taking it away for chat. Sorry guys. Just because we're in the semifinals, I'm trying to take the trying to take the bands away. So that way we don't accidentally spoil the bands. I would say the Riley pick could have been something better. Like something that can push back like a wind bison or um, a Chalot, and you potentially have to ban out the Zenny because okay. you cannot push back her. It's an aggressive, that's a pretty aggressive choice picking Charlotte, like just going first, locking him down with like control. Mm -hmm. I like that. See, when I see them, I always think about like something a lot more passive, more defensive style, you know, like auto cleansing, like sit there and take it and then cleanse it. I like, it's funny how your thinking there is different. I feel like because like, let's say you play turn two, you don't want to compete with other people who play turn two because they already prepare for that. So you have to do something to surprise them. Oh, an attack buff Tessa. We, it, that did not kill the monkey last time, but I think it's still worth it. You could also go skill two proc into the Daphnis just to try. I almost would have done that. I almost would have just forget the immunity. Who cares? Just go for the attack buff damage. Proc in. Don't lose anybody. Oh my god. Rakan oh, is enough on his killed. own. Oh my god. Dude. That huge. Dude, the Rakan was the secret. What the heck? Lazy cat. Lazy cats is giving us like a showcase right now for the Rakan. I have a question over here. Like, why didn't he? He picked like five passive unit, uh, four passive unit. Why didn't he ban the Sarian? That's a good question. Oh my God, Rakan is tearing it apart. You can keep S1 over here. Dude, Rakan is taking this whole game to go, dude. This is great. 
That Recon pick was, this is from JKW over on YouTube. That Recon pick was an amazing pick with permanent immunity against all those puppets. Yeah, well said, actually. You know, the worst case scenario, the Smizer can like strip the immunity and keep the Rakan silent like forever. <laughs> He's got a big choice. Such a good heal. People, I saw people in chat saying that like the puppeteers need to get nerfed because that heal is too oppressive. But yeah, he didn't ban the Tessa, but like you know, there I, there hasn't been much oblivion out. The uh, thing about the Sai is good too with attack buff. An armor break is basically set up for the uh, Rakan to snipe one unit right away. Dude, lazy cats. So that means it's happening, guys. We got bunny versus cats. We got bunnies versus cats in the finals. Let's go. That is crazy. We got bunny and cat finals. Good luck to you, says unlucky bunny. Oh, such great sportsmanship. Y'all are great. That's awesome. And <laughs> Nectar look, says it's scripted. <laughs> scripted to get as many animals as possible in the finals. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, guys. I love the sportsmanship from these folks. Like, y'all are awesome. So, oh, we got Rylan now. I don't know. How, I, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Unless it's Riley now. Could be Riley Ry now. Says, hey, Evan, first time tuning in. Unrelated to the match, but I just pulled Julian as my first LD5. Can I ask what you recommend getting in the Nat 5 selector to pair with him? Dude, that's so funny. We were just talking about that, actually. How funny is it that that question came up twice? So, so Alan, you mentioned earlier that like Nana and Riley are really good with Julian. What would you suggest that someone pick from the choose a Nat 5 event? Uh, if to you don't have Julian. Nana, you can get Nana. Yeah, if you don't have Nana, you can pick Nana. If you have Nana already, then you can go with um, you can go with another damage dealer, like a Fire Cassandra, because then they either let you have a Nana and the Julian, or they ban out the Nana, so you have two damage dealer. So. First gonna be Nana, and the second one I think uh, Fire Cassandra. Great answers. That's perfect answers. And thank you for joining the stream today, dude. I'm glad you could make it. We're streaming at kind of an unusual time today because of the Discord tournament. Normally we stream at like 11 a.m. Pacific, but finals is best of three. Finals is best of three. For everybody who's tuning in, I just wanted to shout out the prizes again. So. Everybody, all 32 participants for the tournament that we started with, everybody gets 200 crystals except for third and fourth place who get escalated rewards. So third and fourth place both get 300 crystals. Second place gets a Verd SD figurine and 500 crystals, plus that Verd figure has a coupon in it. And then first place gets a 10th anniversary trophy and 500 crystals. And the 10th anniversary trophy also comes with a coupon in there too. So there's even more in there than it seems. So this is it. This is the final set. Lazy Cats versus Unlucky Bunny. We're going to spectate from the side of Lazy Cats, just so for folks' reference when we're in the game, so you don't lose track of who we're watching. Also, if you get one more tournament in the future, don't forget to fill out the survey form, exclamation point survey. It's going to help a lot. Yes, well said. And I just posted that in YouTube as well. Oh, for the folks here too. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm plugging in my laptop. Sorry, I was plugging in my laptop chat. Sorry about that. Folks, use command festival too, actually. That's a new command that just got input today. So it's command exclamation point festival. And that's that will bring up the registration link for the Summoner's War Festival. It's a two day event. It's like, it's like a meetup, but for two days, we've never had something like that before. And the first day is the America's Summit Finals that are in person. It's in Los Angeles, May 18th and 19th. If you think you can make it, register. And it's free. 
And it's free. Yeah, re please register if you can make it. That'd be awesome to see you there. Also, Would it be food here? Dude, look at this. <laughs> this is Elusia? Yeah, like, hello? Elusia. This is crazy. Oh my god. Wind dug Wait, you guys are picking too fast. Let me take the band. I'm taking down the bands. Thank you. I'm taking the bands down. The bands have been decided. So Douglas with a gun has been banned and Oliver has been banned. I don't know why he banned out the um the Carlos over there because the 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 water vampire skill three is guaranteed crit. I, isn't it only guaranteed crit on fire? I think it's only guaranteed on fire. Really? I think it's only guaranteed on fire, but I'm not. I think we should double check. Oh, we should double uh, chat. You know what? Chat knows. Q50. Yes, this is Alan SW. Unfortunately, Alan had some technical difficulties with the camera. Actually, I think it was more about it was more with Discord. Discord was not being very good, but yeah. Hello, Q50. So Robert Shaw says yes, only on fire. Oh, Robert Shaw says attribute advantage pushback. Jed says yes, only on fire. Yeah, guaranteed on fire oh, only. Thank I you see. guys. Yeah. Oh my God, Alusia is so good. <laughs> I love this unit, dude. It's a great. I love that Lazy Cats has this ruined. I always keep one ruined up just in case I see an Artemiel. Like, By the way, the transmog is look pretty cool as well. Yeah, and it's like it it does look cool, even I today. I mean, every every beach uh, team look cool, for real, for real. We still need the bikini Zyros, but like, I yeah. just wish that I could get that ultimate weapon Valkyrie skin from the event. But you know what? I understand why we can't. It's because it's also. RTA. Do you think? Uh, we need an option for like when we evolve a unit, we want to keep like a form of the unawakened. I mean, I don't personally see a problem with that. I, I think that it could be a transmog, you know, like have it open in the building. I think that'd be kind of fun because mm. like there are some there are some ones that look better. Like to me, Lucian looks better unawakened, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to me, Oberon looks better when it's unawakened. It looks so nice. Yeah, there are a few like that. I also really like it when the Panda Warriors have their hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's a good one. Wow. The water units are tearing it up. I the don't know. The water, Dr. is pretty insane. Like, he heal, he do damage, um, ignore defense, and he basically CC with, like, three skill. He does. He's got he's got freeze on freeze on skill one. The skill two is like a, just a lot of it's true damage. Skill three is freeze and a heal. Like uh, Squishy says, Juno with the clutch trust, dude. I love the faith you have in Juno. I hope that I can. I want someone to believe in me to the same capacity that Squishy believes in Juno. You know, like I love that, but it is unfortunately not gonna happen. <laughs> Bunnies are on top right now with a one point lead. So we're about to go in what could potentially be the last game of the Discord Conqueror tournament today because it is best of three, right? So Bunnies has mm -hmm. the advantage. That water vam do so much damage. Yeah, he does. Oh. Saw a couple questions about codes in the chat on YouTube. We just have that survey today. It's random who we give the crystals out to, but we give it to a number of people equal to the maximum viewership we get. So in theory, everyone could get crystals. Uh, we do that just to try to reward the people who are here with us. How is Lisa hitting like a Ford truck? Dude, Evan, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, he hits like a Ford F-150. This stream is not brought to you by the Ford F-150. <laughs> have you ever been have you ever been hit by a Liesel? Been have you ever been defense broken and hit with an elemental ad advantage attack? That's how it feels to drive the new Ford F-150. Well, I, I I was hit by um um Jack from State Farm. <laughs> yep. Every now and then. Every now and then.
So Bunny's trying to finish this off quick. Once he gets some control in with the wind robo after opening it up with Chiwu. Freeze everybody, increase cooldown times. Lazy's trying to go for that outspeed. Got two units with the base, high base speed, trying to cut in. It's Not gonna lie, he can go duck last here. Oh, you're right. You're right, actually. A Douglas would have been kind of sick. Okay, I'm taking away the game. I'm taking away the game for a second. Wait. That last one's not locked in. Hold. Liesel was kind of lit last time, though. Okay. Is that getting locked in? Man, that's a lot of wind. The Liesel's back. Ooh, nice. Oh. Nice. Okay. So I was fire thinking monkey. about the fire monkey as well. I get Ben our speed lead from both sides. And it is the Sekhmet and the Wind Robo. I like the Wind Robo ban though, but it's there's still a lot of control that's coming out from Bunny, you know? Mm -hmm. It Ooh, depends you know on if he killed the fire monkey first or like he have to boost here. Oh, he can go for freeze as well. Oh, he's going for the oh. bomb. Oh my god. No, she, oh. she put the dot. No. The best daughter in the game. No. <laughs> oh, Ciara. That was just classic Ciara gameplay, dude. That's okay. Uh. She was... She was gonna push back and pushes back enough that Etna doesn't go next. She is glanced. Ooh, oh, two stuns stun. from Chandra. Chandra's working overtime right now. Oh, it's Jover. It's Jover. Oh, big hit. Oh, and the puck. Crit. But it's a glance. CR is gone. That CR hits like mine. That's what, that's what the salty brawler said. That's so funny. Wait, did Chandra do so much damage? He do 10k with defense break. 10? Yeah, no 10k. 10k S1 with defense break. Asking the fire monkey to solo here is kind of a tall order. Yeah, unless like you out rune and out artifact, then that might happen. Oh, hold on. Oh my Maybe. god, wait a minute. Dude, he's Maybe. trying. Salve atrapando. Because the Adna is going to move here and the monkey going to move. Uh -oh. oh my god. She got the death break. Oh no. <laughs> he got it. He procked out. Stop. No way. Yeah, you got to slow him. But he rezzed it. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> This monkey, this monkey's about to solo. Dude, I feel like, I feel like Ghetto from JJK right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's going to so happen. <laughs> it draws, it, it, Hans, Hanski says got esported by a monkey. Yep. This is where Meho Wang loves to thrive though. He likes subverting your expectations and just dominating water units. He mm -hmm. has elemental, he's one of those units that secretly has elemental king. Yeah. Come we to us about the nerf. Over. Oh my God. We thought it was over since he missed the bomb, but you know. Dude. This is like, this is so game. Chandra has like nothing that works up against the monkey. This is crazy. He has like no utility against Mei Ho Wang. He has met his match. GG. Well GG. Bunny takes the win and is the champion of the Discord Conqueror Tournament. Wow, congratulations on the 10th anniversary trophy. And also congratulations to Lazy Cats for getting the Verd SD figure because that's pretty big. And it also has a coupon in it too for additional rewards. Yeah. And of course, third and fourth place also get 300 crystals too for joining and everybody else gets 200. So nobody's walking home empty handed, uh, at least you know metaphorically speaking because it's those are digital prizes but you know still so let me bring up our bracket today take a look everybody we started with 32 participants and we narrowed it all the way down to a weirdly 100 percent animal finals between bunny and cats congrats bunny this was really nice um 
tournament today. Like everyone have the same advantages, um, band pick skill, and it was really good. We see some good LDs as well. Zenny Sex, Tian Lang, Gianna, Shun. The Shun one is really cool. So, so did that monkey actually just one v four? Elegy just put that in chat. Did that? Did the monkey? Yeah, it's just one v four. It just one v four. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. I mean, he have good rune, right? He have yeah. good rune and good proc as well. Man, if there's if one the thing that... If the monkey quit over there, it can kill, like, Edna, and the game should be, like, over much sooner. Yeah, dude, look at this. Because he did. He's 1v4ing. He is getting every kill. There was a moment coming up here where um, Edna he gets... He's getting every single kill. He is 1v4ing. Nobody else did anything. That was the moment where I got a little spooked because the defense break went on the monkey. This is the replay right now. Wow, the big res... You know what? I think he kind of missed by the Ed Nash and you skill two over there. You know why? Why? Because oh yeah yeah yeah, she just have like one turn of the hook one. So even if she didn't use skill two, she gonna go out of it. I thought she have like two turns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Crazy. Crazy games and a great tournament and a super super stellar tournament. Hmm. Well done for everybody involved. Thank you for watching. And chat, I hope you guys had fun. Alan, did you enjoy it, dude? I do really enjoy casting with you today. I this love it. It turned out really nice. I loved it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, ha I always have fun casting with you. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say to chat before we depart for the day? Oh, yeah. You guys should do the survey so that you get like 75 crystal. Um, yes. And yeah, also the survey is going to help us in the future to get more tournament like this. Yeah, I'm really glad. Chat, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. I saw a lot of great feedback in the chat. I had fun. We try to do these things once a month. If you haven't joined our Discord server already, you should absolutely do that. Um, if you're on Twitch with us, be sure to stay here because we're going to raid somebody in a second. I just had a couple quick announcements before we go. First of all, if you haven't used Command Festival yet, do that right now. Double check to see that you have May 18th and 19th set aside on your calendar because that's the two-day event. For Summoners War, we got the America Summit Finals there too. And they're both it's all happening in LA. So if you can make it, see if you can register for that. Um, again, if you want to be a part of tournaments like this in the future, join our Discord server. Use Command Discord for that. You can also use Command Alan SW to give him a follow if you don't already. And his channel info is in the description on YouTube too if you'd like to give him a follow there. And check out our YouTube channel because a new video just launched earlier today on the top 10 transmogs. All right, y'all. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you again, Alan. This is fun, dude. Thank you for having me. It was nice casting with you. It Hope you awesome. guys have a good day as well. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. See you all next time. Bye-bye. See ya. Animations, stellar design, deserves number nine. Number eight is so good, and it inspired conversations about new design space for transmogs. I actually wish that we'd seen more things come from this one. It's the Baby Bear War Bear. If anything, this skin should be closer to number one, but I think this is generally speaking going to be an appropriate place for the skin. The main thing that holds it back is probably the time at which it was released because at the time of recording, it is now a bit of an older skin. So that means it's lacking the complexity that skins of the modern day would normally see. But still, even like this, it's number eight on the list. Number seven is the retro Game Boy Robo. This is just like the next logical step for the monster, honestly. I think the Robos are made better with this skin. I, and you'll probably find that with a lot of the skins on this list, but what I mean to say is it just seems like a more complete, thought out version of what these Robos are. Love the way they manifest their attacks. I think we can all agree that Dark Robo has a really cool skill three animation. And I love that they now have a face that can kind of emote on the screen. Like, surprisingly dope skin. Number six is Legend of the Ocean Sea Emperor. This is a very recent release, and I think that there's a list of monster skins out there that are probably just labeled as the most improved category. This would be for 